So when you go to the grocery store, um, you look at the egg section. It's mm -hmm. a little intimidating and right? complicated. And we actually, uh, my husband and I, we get our eggs from a farm, local mm -hmm. farm, so it's easy. Yeah. But when I go to the grocery store, I'm not sure what to do. How do you prioritize? How do you spend your money if you had to buy them? Yeah. So, well, I think if you have the option, what you do is probably the best. Yeah, get it local. Yeah. yeah. Get it local and from an operation that you can see. And, right. you know, you can go out, see the practice, and say, yes, that fits my personal ethic and what I want to mm -hmm. consume. Um, the organic label and cage free, American Humane all of those labels are there for the person who can't go out to the farm and mm -hmm. so they're doing that verification so that you know the person who just doesn't have time or doesn't have access to go out to a farm and meet a farmer can still you know purchase their ethic so it's really just understanding what each of those is mm -hmm. so you know organic is 100 percent organic feed there's um, access to outdoors, mm -hmm. um, and it's you know there's not specific stocking densities in the USDA organic regulations. Meaning how tight they are close mm -hmm. to each other. But there are uh, the USDA is the only organic label in the world that doesn't have stocking densities included. Mm. So like, you know Canadian organic biologic they have stocking densities in there. There's actually a proposal that, um, it was one of the last things that the Obama administration signed, that wouldn't then add stocking densities into our organic livestock regulations. Those have been drawn back, mm -hmm. but you know, they're still up for you know, potential publication. So you know, by October, we may have stocking densities in the or USDA organic regulations, which I think would be a you know an incredible. So let me make sure yeah. I understand. So an organic certification on an egg means that the chickens were fed organic feed, and mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily talk about how tight they were housed. Yeah, they have some access to outside, but they could actually still be in a factory with it, the door it, open somewhere it could be yeah. yeah they have to have reasonable access to outside okay. and they have to have the ability to exhibit natural behaviors so okay so that that's means helpful. they have to be able to dust bathe uh-huh um, dust bathe that sounds fun yeah. okay <laughs> yeah. um, and they have to be able to get out and pack and and do that kind of stuff okay um and and scratch somewhere in the facility they've got to have dirt yeah they've well, let me ask dirt you this. or sometimes you know sometimes it's a bedding material okay they're um, not the sitting house. on a concrete shelf yeah they can't be on a hundred percent concrete so let me ask you this though so these chickens are running around all day 12 mm -hmm. hours a day at your house yeah. so they're eating bugs and worms and things mm -hmm. like that so how do you certify an organic bug you know so, what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, I just... Uh, it's, uh, that's kind of like one of the gray areas mm -hmm. in the organic regulations. Um, the organic, to, to certify a farm, um, you know, from a crop aspect, we certify the land. And then we certify the production process. And so, in that, it's kind of this um, understood process that a bug on an organic farm isn't allowed yeah it can be right. consumed by an organic chicken well i'm really glad to hear that because in my mind when i see all organic feed i'm thinking well maybe they're feeding that chicken only feed which isn't natural because normally mm -hmm. we walk around so thank you so much and, for and, clarifying and so it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's required yeah um yeah if if a bug didn't walk into the, the cage area <laughs> and they're then, not getting the bug that day yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and then talk about like cage free, free range. I think those are the main yeah. ones. So what do those mean? Um, so cage free, I believe actually does have a definition and that means that there's no battery cages inside the facility. Mm -hmm. Um, and so they have open floor space. It's basically, you know, most of the, um, well, anytime you see a big barn with chickens all over the floor, 
that would be cage free. Okay. Um, but I mean, there's also a lot of organic facilities that look like that too. Yeah. It's just they have a door and they can go outside. Right. Um, and they have the you know, the bedding or something mm -hmm. to be able to dust bathe on the floor. Um, free range doesn't have a true definition. So it's kind of meaningless. That's what I'd heard. Yeah. I mean, there's there's certainly there's people who use it appropriately mm -hmm. you know and what the common definition would you know would be but it's not enforced in any way okay it's not a the usda organic certification you have to apply for that the free range anybody can put it on there like you can yeah. put natural yeah. on the front of a package right. and it doesn't mean anything yeah. well it does mean i think no artificial colors but okay so let's summarize on eggs so and then oh, well there's yeah, one more okay. oh yeah so the humane um american humane uh -huh. certification that one is the one that, like, if you're concerned about stocking densities, that's the one that pulls the stocking densities Okay. In. American so if, Humane means yeah. how they're not going to be crammed in. Right. Okay. So they're going to have, you know, some minimum square footage per bird. Good. Uh, society and then Animal Welfare approved AWA. Mm -hmm. Both of those have the stocking densities. And that's uh, for just chickens or for that's other? That's for all livestock. For all animals that yeah. you might eat off a farm. Can get that certification. We want to look for American Humane approved and American. Yeah, so one. Animal Welfare approved. Animal Welfare approved. And American Humane Society, I think. It's. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it's really. And I think anybody who's watching this is watching it because they want to do the right thing for their health and for. The animals and for the planet so you know ideally we get from somebody we know local right and see that the chickens are happy running yeah. around and eating bugs and then and then second we go for the organic and, and humane label awesome thank yeah. you good stuff yeah that's a complicated yeah. one for sure yeah thank you